ACR. Benny Pike, good morning, mate. Good morning, Paul, and good morning to all your listeners. Thanks for coming on, Benny. Now, uh, boxing for you. What a great career you had. Represented um, Australia in the Commonwealth Games and Olympics. You must be a proud boy. Yeah, no, always, always. Never expected it. Um, five foot eight, you know, uh, middleweight. And uh, from Maroochydore, where uh, you think, how's that, how's that going to happen? And uh, it was just, um, I just, well, I went to boarding school and... Uh, I had probably had a fight every lunch hour, never won. And I think I decided I'm going to have to learn to do something. And Maruchador produced a couple of good boxers from the Black Swan Boxing. In fact, the first ever light flyweight, a bloke called Tony Cash, who won that in... Because uh, light fly was, was only introduced at the Olympics in 68. He was the first ever. And then we had uh, Alan Jenkinson, who went to the 72 Olympics. So, yeah, we had some terrific... Um, terrific fighters in, in the Maroochydore area and uh, it was it was a lot of fun. Good start. How many am amateur fights did you end up having? I'll oh, probably around 100, but probably yeah. a lot more out the ring, but, <laughs> yeah. but no, 100 run, uh, uh, fighters, uh, fights. And, uh, yeah, but I didn't have many early. I mean, that was, it was amazing. I had uh, my third fight up was against the, the uh, former Queensland champion and uh, he beat me. And, uh, and, and next fight, I... Uh, I'm fighting in Yamir, and I fought a guy. I was supposed to fight that, a guy from Fiji or something, and they switched the fights, and I ended up fighting the French champion, which I didn't even know. Uh, you know, I didn't know until after the fight to do he was. How'd you go with him? I beg your pardon. How'd yeah. I go? Yeah, I got knocked over. Did what do you expect? Yeah, <laughs> yeah. I was. I thought you would have. Um, you were going to tell me you beat him, but. Mate, you, as you know, I've got a couple of quotes from your teammates I'll read out very shortly, but, mate, is it true you fought Tony Tucker during your career? Yeah, well, I fought, I fought Tony... Um, well... I, I, you know, some fights, I, I, I was very unlucky in regards of uh, not so much getting beat on points. That's not, uh, that wasn't the point. More so the point was that I fought the big guns in the first fight. And, and sometimes, as any amateur know... Sometimes you get better as you go on. Yeah, you uh, do. In, in, when you have maybe three to four fights in a week. Uh, and unfortunately, I ended up fighting Tony. Uh, he's just too tall. And um, Tony, he fought Mike and... Tyson. Jeez, he fought Tyson once or twice? Oh, only the once, I think. And... Tyson went 15 rounds. and um, But he was a, he, a terrific... He, you know, he fought uh, for America. Uh, and, and he would have been... The red hot favourite for the Olympic Games. And you, you in nineteen eighty. Nine and you pulled him first in the first round, Ben, did you say? I caught him you pulled him in the first round. Yeah. But the good part about that was wow. you've got to look for the good things. We yeah. were fighting in New York and it was the first ever World Cup. Mm -hmm. And and like I'm as excited as just terrific. And here we're staying basically across the road from Madison Square Garden. Wow. And I'm going, yeah, exactly. Yeah, well. And 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 um, Alice Cooper was on the, the three or four days leading up to the, our fights, and it was just it was just fabulous. It was just a, a, a wonderful um, opportunity. I mean, and then when I got beat, I just said to the coach, "Well, you know, I'm in New York. I'm not going to stand around uh, holding the, the sweat bucket. I, I, I'm going out." I basically, <laughs> after each night of boxing, I went out to. Uh, Studio Fifty Four, and oh uh, wow, I've seen that we're movie. We're in there for the next week, and uh, wow, I introduced myself to getting in the because uh, you know how they you see in the movies, but they have a big big security guard letting you go in yeah. one after another. Well, that's exactly what it was like, and uh, we went in, and uh, well, I went in, and uh, and this, this American guy said, "You an Aussie?" And I said, "Yeah." He said, "Oh man, no problem." <laughs> he said, "Nuke, he was here with the tennis players last week. No problem. You come in." So every night I'd just go in and see him, and it was terrific. They let you in straight away. Now, you and your mate Brian Tink, uh, you, you fought in every game. You, you've never missed one, and you guys fought a lot. You yeah, fought, Brian, Brian um, was a terrific, and I, I know you had him on your show a couple, couple of weeks, weeks ago. A few weeks back. <laughs> I beg your pardon? Yeah, a few weeks back now, yeah. Yeah, terrific bloke, and um, you're just a little quiet, Paul, and I can't hear you that clearly, mate. Um but Brian was a wonderful boxer and um, certainly um, probably should have got a lot more better results. Uh, he too 
fought against the big guns uh, early in the in the uh, in the um, in the career. I mean, it's it's it, it, well in a tournament, and and uh, you come home, you've got beat, but you've got beaten by the best. Mm. That's, and that's the that's the thing about. I mean, that's the thing I get I'm so annoyed when uh, I hear swimmers come up and say, oh, you know, um, how tough it is and how hard it is. Well, I mean, they're kidding, aren't they? I mean, they can get beat in their in their in their early fights or early early swims and still make the final. Yeah, true. Amateur boxing, you get beat, you're out. Yeah, that's true. Can you hear me now? You can hear me now, Ben. That's a bit better. Yet. Yeah, sure. No worries. Um. That's a good point now. Now, uh, Hector Thompson, sad news in the boxing fraternity, he passed away. You had a fair bit to do with Hector? Yeah, I did. I did. I, I, I won't claim any glory. I just was just a, a wonderful opportunity to mix uh, the gloves with a true champion in and out the ring. And uh, yeah. it was in my early days and I was, um, I, I'd won Australian titles and I was going OK. But there was a fellow from New South Wales called Phil McElwain. Mm -hmm. came along and he was the golden-haired boy of Arthur Tunstall. So I knew I had to be on top of my game. But unfortunately, where I was training, I, I had good fighters and good mates, but I didn't have fighters who were going to stretch me, who were going to make me better. So uh, Phil was sparring with uh, with Tony Mundine at the Willamaloo Police Boys Club all the time and mm -hmm. uh, and other, other you know, pro top pros. And I had nobody and... Um, it was after the 76 when Phil had beaten me to go to the game, so I decided I'd try and, um, you know, pick up the pace. And I went and moved and lived in Brisbane with my mother for a while, um, for three or four days a week, and I'd go and train at the Wollongabba Police Boys Club because the great Hector Thompson was the uh, was the star. And, uh, and if you did a session with him, you did three rounds or four rounds with him, let me tell you, that was as hard as doing 25 rounds with any amateur. Yeah, right, jeez. Oh, he, yeah. he was marvellous. And, uh, and, you know, even right from the word go, he'd say to me, come on, let's do something. Come on, throw your punches. Throw them. Come on, don't stand back. Don't get frightened. And he'd say, I'm not going to hit you in the head. He said, I'll hit, I'll hit you in the body, but I won't hit you in the head. Come on, let's do something. And then he'd go, if you're not going to do it, I'll, I'll really give you a hiding. And then, then you really picked up the pace. <laughs> but he was such a good bloke. He, he was such sounds a, it. So, I mean... I, I can only remember. I can remember one thing about Hector. I remember Reg Layton saying to me one day, "Benny, you're coming in tomorrow," and I'd say, "Nah." Oh, why? Oh, well, I, I need you to spar with a uh, guy. I said, "I can." Oh, I can, Mister Layton. No worries, I'll come in. And Hector said, "Hector said, yeah, yeah, no, no." So I walked. I'd finished training, so I was in the shower, and and and, and next one in come Hector, and he said, uh, "Benny, you okay?" I said, yeah, "All right." He said, "Now yeah, about tomorrow." I said, oh, yeah, Mr. Layton wants me to come in and say, no, 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 you're not coming in. I said, no, but Hector, I... He said, no, no, Benny, you're not coming in. I said, but Mr. L he said, Benny, and I won't use the words he used, he said, yeah. you're not coming in. And I went, why? And he said, because he wants you to spar with Rocky Mattioli. Oh, jeez. And he said, he won't spar with me. He said, because I dropped him the last time he was in Brisbane. <laughs> he wants you to spar with him and you're just... He's just going to belt you. So you're not... He said, there's $20. You have breakfast in the morning, but don't come in. Jeez, eh? And, I, and the opportunity of giving that 20 back to him many years later at a, at a function, <laughs> uh, when I had to interview him, I said, here's that 20 I owe. And uh, he would not remember it, but when I told him, he remembered it. Just such a, yeah. such a lovely bloke. He, you know, he was a... He was, I was really sad. I really was. He was a real hero. And mm, when you're sitting... Yeah talk to a guy who's just so genuine and he tells you about fighting the great Roberto Duran and uh, going eight rounds with him and then fighting Antonio Semantic, you know, the mm. fighters of that era. Uh, wow. I mean, this mm. is a young bloke from Kempsey that, he, that goes on to do that. It's fantastic. Would he be one of the best guys you sparred? I was going to ask you, who was one of the, the best guys you ever sparred for? Oh, yeah, he was, he, he was very good. But, yeah. but no, I mean... Um, I, I, I spart, you know, with many uh, top line fights. I mean, it, it depends on, as you know, Paul. Depends on styles. Depends on uh, the temperament. It depends on where you are. I mean, I've sparred with uh, guys all over the world, and um, some have been fantastic. Some have been uh, uh, hard. Some have been pretty easy. But it's very hard to pick one out because um, it depends on your train of thought, where, where you're fighting, where you're sparring. 
because you've got to transfer that sparring into the ring. It's got to, you've got to lift another another step. That's right. Okay, who would have been the best boxer you ever fought? <laughs> well, couple... from an Australian point of view, it was Phil McIlwain without yeah. any without any class. So what, he about, was out. what about on the world scene? Who was the best? Well, on the world scene, Tony Tucker would have would have been. Well, no, probably probably the best fighter. I probably fought was a guy called Sixto Cerillo. Yeah. He was a Cuban, and I fought him in uh, the 1978 World Championships. Brian was there as well, but actually, Brian, I and Phil all got mm. through our first fights, and then we all were matched up against Cubans. Wow. And all of our Cubans we fought, they all went on to win the gold medal. Yeah. And uh, the Cuban that I fought, Sixto Cerillo, um, I, um, I saw him fight the fight before, and he fought this... Uh, African and you know knocked him down. I thought, oh well, you know the African can't fight, or maybe the this Cuban's a superstar. I didn't know, and um, and it wasn't until later that day I I thought I'd better I'd like go and check and see what his background is, you know, see, you know, because I hadn't seen him before. Yeah. And then uh, and then I went and looked and looked in the records and everything, and uh, we were in Yugoslavia at the time, and, and uh, mm -hmm. it was hard to find, but anyway, I found it, and um, I find that he's had a loss. Um, in his career, and you know, in the last two or three years, and that was to uh, to Leon Spinks in the Olympic oh, final in 1976. God. God. So I I tried to get on a plane, get out of there, but I couldn't. <laughs> <laughs> Jeez, what, do 